Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely day. We are back to balding. Their finger is a bit sore today. Not in a super bad way, but in a way that makes me go, probably shouldn't draw with it today. It's just going to be a time. But we're trying to be good. Where's Mouse? Right, we were dealing with the Moidas. We're in Act 3. We're getting there! We're trying to do the maximum amount of shit. Arm's still a bit sore, but it's not as tendonitis y today. Good. Not sure how legorific this is all gonna be. Looks like it's not so great, so. Oh yeah, we are we are frame skipping like nobody's goddamn business. Let's use that. Back again. Want a dagger or a bow? Do you need more arrows? Um, need a spear? Oh, yay! I like her. She's so funny. That's interesting. It's a two handed finesse weapon. But it's two-handed, so like it's not like you can still use... I really need to find a potion dealer. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! I love her. She's ridiculous. Thank you, Carlac. Well, since it's not considered stealing, let's see what's in here.
Interesting. What the? No one stopped me yet. There's a fucking mind flayer down here. What the hell? Hello. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening in four. A newborn, unattended. How fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it, absorb its power, just like you did before. Well, it's up now. No, handsome Squidward, no. Well, he's up now. What? No. I've had so little time. Combat. Yeah, there's no way to do that. I just guess it just it's time for the stabby stabs. My word. Need to learn the hard way. Om nom nom brain nom 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 True soul Aelin, your time has come. Absolute calls to all faithful. You've been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You're part of the flaming fist no longer. You've been a loyal true soul, but soon you'll be so much more. You'll become one of us! Final warning. <laughs> What's that you hear? As usual, all rotten food. So someone discovered a ridiculous way of playing this game. That's not great. I mean, gaslighting does tend to be a massive trigger for us, so I I, I only say no out of concern for I, I don't want to potentially just be, like, dissociated out of my head. 
But I feel for you, though, deeply, because it is so awful to be treated like, like you don't even know what happened to you. It's just not okay. Okay. Not me trying to figure out where the hell I go so that I can go behind this building, but not behind into the fields. Woof. Hopefully it resolves itself in a reasonable in a reasonable manner, even if you have to deal with fallout for things you didn't do. Okay, maybe there's some- oh, no, that's a lock- that's a lock- It's a locked door, but no one's gonna mind if I open it? Alright, I'll do it again. Simple. The food here is fresh. Which leads me to believe... God, I don't like this at all. Because a crass but very comprehensive guide to mixing drinks, there's a huge amount of virtue placed on gin and whiskey-based drinks that will equally large of denigration of vodka, vermouth, and rum-based drinks. It advises mixologists to not identify oneself as a mixologist in conversation. Say you're a bartender, the text advises, or a cocktail maker if you must. Mixologist makes you sound like a pillock. True. Very true. Yondella, the matriarch protector and sovereign creator of the halfling species. Here is one. There's a community of young pucks in prime... Prim pretty halflings, called the Lerma Lakes. They were none of them old yet, only have newly formed their community around being vir so virile and strong, so all could contribute to upkeep and tidying and fixing and mending and so on. Halflings have a great many activities like that. So it was a big shock when an old woman came and asked to join the community. They told her she wasn't welcome, and they turned her away. 
lightly but very firmly, and she went to the nearby woods. Now, the little legs couldn't have known she was going to take shelter there, but didn't think too badly of them. But take shelter she did, and when the werewolf men who lived there came to rob the old woman, y Yondala invested the old woman with knitting needles of impeccable swiftness. She knitted the werewolf men clothes that would expand to accommodate their monthly changes, and they escorted her back to the Lerma Lakes, who accepted the old woman and who took their lumps and scoldings, too, for the werewolf men, not at all amused at the halfling's lack of sympathy for a clever elder such as this. It can be no doubt that the patrier families of the upper city affect such an air of reserve and respectability because they are all too aware their fortunes are founded on bloodshed, pillage, and exploitation. No one speaks now of Zeremiah Elton, who founded the Flaming Fist, Fist as a ruthless mercenary company who slaughtered and burned for pay along the entire length of the Sword Coast. No one mentions Baron Ilza Bormel and the blood spattered ingots shipped north from her slave labor mines in the mountains of Alm. Schoolbooks don't mention Bogo's Session Star's bone flotilla that plundered Aster Cove and abducted the port's entire population. Esteemed reader, while this journal is no stranger to surprising news in the outermost reaches of our far land, I must warn this season's edition contains news some might find it a word shocking. It might be that the Cult of the Absolutes, a reported by our agents in Eltergard, will fade like any other, but the reports of alliances between Goblin and Loth, Sworn Drow, Troll and Durgar are a particular cause for alarm. How is Fingy? It's a bit zingy. It's got a bit of an ouch to it when, when I press against it, so we're leaving it be today. We're not going to play, uh, or not going to draw with it today. I gotta actually... Keep the streams short, because apparently we're doing Thanksgiving today. Is it not a hole anymore? I mean, it, it's it's filling in, but there's definitely a little dent where the, where the thingy thing was cut away. I don't know if you were here yesterday, but we got a call from the doctor saying that it was benign, which we already knew, because we've had one before. We're Americans. <laughs> Think about it this way. We're further north and our harvest happens sooner. So our Thanksgiving's in October. Technically it was on Monday, but, you know, with my cousin being a chef and, you know, the rest of my family kind of like being out of town or also busy on Mondays, we just decided to do it on Wednesday. <laughs> That's good enough. Well, harvest festivals abound all over the world, don't they? But yeah, Canadian Thanksgiving's a month early because we harvest sooner, because if we waited till November, there'd be snow on the fucking ground. <laughs> mm. That's a shame, you should do Thanksgiving. It's eat pumpkin pie and shit. Well, not shit, but you know what I mean. A bit weird that there's these <sighs> multiple places that I've broken into that no one seems to care if you break into them. Come on. Off. There's nothing in these caravans for you. Then whatever birthed you tell you not to stare. The 
place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Deluvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. What the fuck am I speaking to? I guess I'm speaking to the guy. If they're trying to help themselves to other people's property, I just want to remove these unlawful interlopers from my property. Stay here? What if the little frack gets into the basement? My basement? Oh, nothing interesting. Just materials. I'm a craftsman, you see. This man is definitely lying. And she's really hoping you don't pry any further. <laughs> I have some very valuable components in there. I need to get that lot out before they damage something. Who do you think you are? Zenobia? People are lining up to break into my property. Do something about it. You paid us to protect you and your high quality merchandise on the road. And we've since arrived at our destination. As I said, anything else is extra. Ugh. This is the last time I hire someone from the guild. Fine. Here's the extra. Finish the job. Now, please show this meddler some of that famous Rivington hospitality. Of course, of course, no one is actually threatened. Are you kidding me right now?
What is he? Okay, he must be a, he's a barbarian. He's a barbarian. Intelligence wisdom text. Really? Two misses? Why not? Oh my god, he has one hit point left. I knew I was about to do that to myself. Like, I shouldn't have picked that up. Don't burn yourself. Open up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? We're actually at that point now where everything is encumbering? See those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? No, I'm all about this shit.
<laughs> this is really true. Wait a second. I have stuff to trade. You have nothing to trade. God damn it. How'd you end up here? Only lots of us did. Trying to get away from the army of the absolute. If you had the chance to put a roof over your family's heads after being on the run for Torm knows how long, wouldn't you? You won. You won. Nice. What more do you want from me? I want to know what's in your goddamn basement. Mostly because it inconveniences him, and I think it's funny. Well, with Zenobia and the others gone, you don't suppose- <laughs> Gone in quotation marks! Alright, they can stay. Are you happy now? Now I want to know what's in your basement. Can wait. After what you've put me through, I need a drink. Cheers, Iliotan. Also, yeah, I've heard that there's a massive economy that you can get just by looting every barrel and every crate. <laughs> Shadowheart got inspired by that shit. Shadowheart, you're ridiculous. Must be upstairs. For a dull moment. My God, her ample bosoms fluttered like Dove's fingers, brushing against his nails. <laughs> the very ends of his mustache stood to attention as the fire stirred behind his eyes. 
no doubt this was love. Love, ah, love, the stuff that dreams are made of. It made him sweat to think of it. The graceful, enduring, blossoming magnitude of what it all, the priceless, breathless, weightless, shearling, romping joy of it. Her boobs fluttered! You're wondering why I'm sneaking. It actually works better if you sneak in terms of not getting people upset for your stealing, thieving bastardly. Oh, hey. Sneak, 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 sneak. I think I've read that one before. Yes, th this is the turnip story. Okay, this one can go to Carlac. I'm almost positive I've read this one before, so I'll send that one to Carlac. And I'll send that one to camp. I think that one's new. I really need to go and sell shit. Like, I don't want to sell shit to that particular person because I'd really rather not have to carry around even more gold because it's such a pain in the ass. But I think I'm gonna have to do that because I have yet to find a potion person! But I've got a house to explore here. And eventually we'll explore that house. Okay, where is the Rivington General? Just The lag is so real out here, oh my god. Uh... Oh yeah, Carlac's being left behind because she's actually overburdened. Come on, Carlac, you can do it, keep up, you can do it! Wait, am I in the wrong place?
here goes nothing. Binning a portrait that presents you in a different light. Not that there's anything wrong with the blacksmith, but I wonder that maybe one of the prejudices we're fortunately running into where tastes are concerned. Of course, that won't stop trying to arrange something for you. We like to say at the fulfilled heart there are no lost souls, only those who have yet to find their home. My dearest Gildro, your last letter of being concerned. I think it's time you seek some professional counsel for your melancholy. Such things can't be left to brew away unchecked. You've always been a sensitive soul, and I know how heartbreak always hurt you more than you let on. There's no shame in seeking a little aid, is there? I'm here for you, you know that, but I'm no expert when it comes to these things, and I think you should find someone who is. I say that with all the love in the world. Please at least think about it. That's not great. The unfortunate root powder incident? A very, very trapped hatch. Oh my god, I just want to sell my shit. I need to sell my shit because we're really full. Take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? Tell me what you have. Is a virtue. I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Bitch, I just want to sell shit. How do you like to kill? By blasting things. It depends on who I'm killing and how much they've pissed me off. To be honest, that's fucking true. <laughs> oh, good answer. Killing is so <laughs> Why is this guy providing a personal service? I just want to sell my shit to you, sir. Why do you need to know this? You know what? Let's go for it. Powerful, untouchable, unstoppable. Good answer. To kill is the closest thing to knowing the power of the gods themselves. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? I would never kill someone I cared about. You will do so much worse by the time I'm done with you. What? What the fuck? Oh, it's Orin. Hi, Orin. So, you're the Nick Spittle who crushed the Bone Lord's thrall. <laughs> Sniffing for our stones. Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. 
Don't find your weaknesses. Stick a knife in the cracks and prize you apart. I just realized she really kind of looks like a crab, and all I'm thinking about is that crab with a knife meme. Well, for fuck's sake! Ah! Orin was a shapeshifter, which means we can't trust anyone, not even each other. You try attacking me when we back in turn, you bloody cowards! You were attacked by a gob doppelganger. She was impersonating me. Is that so? You've got some evil twin running around whacking people round the back of the head. I'm a warlock. I don't hit people. Bloody double. Well, I'm done with you. He must have been attacked by my twin! <laughs> On every level, I just want to be like, okay, just, just hear me out here. I'm a warlock. Do you see this imp right here? Why would I hit you on the back of the head when I could have eldritch blasted you into the next millennium? Okay? If I wanted you to be unconscious, you'd be unconscious forever. Like, permanently. Alright? That's- that's what we do here. We fucking murder folks who get in our way. At, we don't take no shit from no one. Not sure why you think a warlock would hit you. I don't hit people. I kill them. <laughs> Oh, great. Critical success. Let's go. I'm sure it were you. The more certain. Ah, gods be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. Bitch, I just want to sell and buy things! Jesus fucking Christ, dude! Please, please, madam, you and your excitement. Let's go. Back again. Want a dagger? Or a bow? Need more arrows? Um, need a spear? Are you the one that sells the smith's weapons? That's me. Grumpy fella, uh... Bothering him. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone, you see. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yep. Quite the little arse licker, aren't you? Oh, yay! I need to sell shit. Our bags are too damn heavy, ma'am. You don't have anything I want, but you know what? Here, let me sell things to you en masse, alright? Sound good? You know what? Why don't- since I can't seem to find anybody else nearby, I think I might try and, uh, get her... Moved her a little left. Let's keep at it. I need to- I need to sort through my- my junk in my bag again. Well, 
She's moving. Slowly moving her over. I was confused for a second there. She does have more shit. We're not using that. It's medium armor. God damn, so fucking close. There we go.
She severely doesn't have anything I want or need. God damn it. Well, at least we're not weighed down by so much shit anymore. Already, 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 already. Oh, that's right. The kid really likes us. If I was a showering lookout, this is the sort of place I'd wait around. Everything is awful for her. Oh, good. I wonder what the next move is. Let's march. That might be worth a look. Interesting. Intensely useful, but interesting. We collect the potatoes. We did not need to collect the potatoes, but we collected them anyway.
So somewhere around here, Shadowheart thinks there's going to be a lookout. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Why did we decide to go up the frickin' hay bales? Oh, that's right. They're looking. They're looking at us. Back off from the sentinel homes. That's an order. Why don't you protect us instead of these soppy outlanders? You see them over there? Refugees? Ha! Not but a cover. I know what they really are. Died in the wool agents of the absolute. Mark my words. He's literally got a pot lid and two gold. Oh, Mark, more than your words! Praise the absolute! You think all the refugees are hardcore absolutists? Probably only a handful of rotten apples among them. Or, you know what they say about rot? It spreads quickly, ruins the whole bunch. Stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm That haircut though Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Ah. Uh, another visitor, I see. Listen. We keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. I'm literally from here. Oh, what you got? A hammer and 19 gold? 19 gold I can use. I think you still have some random benign bullshit here. Well, maybe not. Wait a second, yes you do. You have a scroll that I don't need. Never mind, you don't have enough gold for it. Baldurian, your accent's Riventonian. That hardly counts. <laughs> Inside the city walls, a Baldarian through and through. Wherever you're from, clearly they don't teach manners. Let's start a fight! Let's start a fight! Hey, bitch. How you doing? You having a bad day? I'm not protesting shit. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Think there are enough flaming fists here for these refugees. He's got something too. What do you got? A quill. I like pissing people off because it's funny. I agree, there aren't nearly enough folk helping the refugees. Baldurians can't feel safe with so many of them roaming about without proper supervision. <sighs> Let's hope Archduke Gortash can make a difference. You paid for the Beta civilians. No, we pay taxes for you to protect. 
protect us, not these intruders. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. Oh, hey, we found him. You are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. Our hearts bleed for you. Get to the point. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has Our Lady forsaken you? You know what? I'm gonna let her handle it. I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Tell me one thing. Is there someone called Renard there? A tiefling with short horns and purple hair. Renald. Now there is a name I haven't heard in a while. He is no more. I'll leave the rest for you to find out. Heretic. Can we kill him? I mean, this is just one of those instances where, where honestly, turning this guy into paste in cold blood just seems like the right thing to do because I would really them not be able to be prepared. But then again, at the same time, the jail sentence is gonna fucking blow. I swear to god, I have my window closed, and that is so loud! Knowing them, they're probably fucking on the rooftops blowing up the goddamn gutters instead of just fucking using a stick. I want to kill him! Shadow Heart! How mad would you be if we killed him so he can't report back to his people? Fuck, ow.
it probably doesn't matter. I'll just leave it be, because I- I can't- I actually can't even look this up. I'd kill him, but at the same time, I really don't need to get thrown into jail right now. Dumbass. Anyways, back to talking to random people. Don't pay me any mind now. I'm just trying to make sure everyone gets fed. I like you. My lord on the rack. Give me patience. What you got? Excuse me. What you got? A cookie and gold. Ooh, that's a decent amount of gold too. Nice. What can I get? What can I get? What are you wearing on your head? What are you wearing? Yeah, I'm probably not going to change that anytime soon. Is everything all right? Keep harassing the refugees. It's horrid. I just hope the Omega Temple opens up aid again soon. We need their help here. This isn't going to be useful either, is it? <sighs> Let's go solve the murders, I think, is what I want to do now. Like, I wanted to do other stuff too, but it seems like there's a lot of fucking things to do. So I'm gonna do the one point, like, all of them at one, at one at a time. Oh my god, so much lag. Oh my fucking god, so much lag. Lag, 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 lag. Run! Run away from all the people! The people who are fucking everywhere! If you could just... we have the Duke full for the... Okay. Was the Styrian just Naruto running? I mean, it'll give me a warning if I can't go backwards, I suppose, so it doesn't really matter if I do this right now. Come on. Vines, very nice. I got I was like, oh shit, there's no cliff, but there's vines. So let's go down here. Do we need a short rest? Oh, I'm out of spells. Everyone's a little bit ouchy. You know what? Let's. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. I think this is where I came out, actually. Yeah, there's actually, like, bloody footprints leading out. Oh, really? Really? The camera is stuck 
The camera is stuck. Help me. I need to get up. So Charessa's caress is up there. Don't talk to Shadowheart. Don't talk to Shadowheart. It was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need to stay alert all the same. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Digging, we digging. There's so much hidden shit like here. Oh, dimension door. Big potion, nice big potion, nice. Okay, so that's the self span check point. So I've gone too far in the other fucking direction now? Useful. Well, looks like that was a complete wild goose chase. Something good here, I hope. Interesting. Regards you lifelessly. Uh, tell me about the Jebelus ring I found with you. Brothers died on the road, man tried to buy. What happened to you? Pushed, felt bones break. Darkness. Do you have any next to kin? None. What's the last thing you remember? Man buying heirlooms. Vulture. Challenged him. Where are you East from? Fled armies, lost everything. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions.
doesn't seem to be anything else. Fade moon. Guess I could go all the way up the coast and see what's all, all the way out there. Looks like the only way to get into Baldur's Gate is is actually going past that checkpoint. So I may want to. Guess I gotta collect quests before I go and do the flower key thing. I don't know if I can get back out of Baldur's Gate once I go in. That might be worth a look. <laughs> so much pirate treasure. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I guess my best bet is to finish everything in Rivington before we move on. I have a feeling I know what this is going to be. The boss is expecting Yep. <laughs> Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Oh, now. Thank you. 
You look different when you're not trying to talk someone down from igniting a barrel of room power. Oh, it's her! That's his job. I can make time for chatter after you know what's what. Glad you didn't blow yourself up, honey. But I have a funny feeling everything is going to go south. You're here. Good luck. This damn city's more treacherous than the Underdark. Oh, hey, it's the poison chick. All these recurring characters. That's Nichols. It stopped. But it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? Yeah. Don't worry, it's probably just the world ending. Yeah, it keeps happening. What do you think it is? There's something underneath the city. Inside the rock. But when I ask the stone why it shakes, it only screams. I want to go home. Valid. So why are you here trying to be a terrorist and blow up frickin' Baldur's Gate? Where is he? Oh, it's Wolverin! Hey, you! Wolverin! Ah, uh, I heard you might be about. Uh, how the devil did you get stuck here, Barkas? <laughs> I'm not stuck. I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkas? Uh, unfortunately for me, you're my friend. Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. Oh, but you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself with the aid of this helper. Ah, uh, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Wolverin. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the Harpers give word that Moonrise has been handled, you ought to get out of here. But... W Wolverin... The rune powder. We need to discuss what you're going to. I said go home! <laughs> Give me that. You are considered a construct. Your weapon attack rolls have advantage and you have resistance to lifing. Well then... Let's face it, I'm never going to equip this again.
do we want? That's fine, that's fine. Is that humanoid slaying? remover. Okay, well, you don't know what Barkus has gone through to find you, even if he didn't technically do it himself. Please, that that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. And, and why should you? It's Iron Hand gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Walbrin is safe and sound. Thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. Thank you. We do now, Barkus. Well, perhaps Wilbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to Baldur's Gate. That'll have to wait. It's lethal out there. Oh, that's all right. I'm a patient fellow. I'm, I'm sure you'll clear a path for everyone soon enough. Okay, Walbrun, what's your fucking deal? Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. 
and the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Oh, he's got my rat bat and my doom hammer. You know what? That's kind of fine and also sort of funny. He doesn't actually have anything on him. Here's Vice Pegasus. Thank you for the reminder to drink water. Ortash is a dead man, but I have reasons of my own for taking him down. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. That's fair. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish. And soon, you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Yeah, I think that's actually the right the right response. Why put the bl blame on the Gondians? They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. I mean, that's fair. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. Um. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan <laughs> to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. What was the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. Oh, that the sounds fun. Are ingenious. But we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. <laughs> Fifty years ago, <laughs> couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Give me the bomb! The bomb Give me the bomb! The facility. And boom. Problem solved. Baldwin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adult. <laughs> God, he's such an asshole. Bomb so badly you don't even understand. It would make for some excellent gnomish archaeology, okay? To be honest, I kind of also want the bomb because that might be a really good way of taking out the Elder Brain and we might be able to disable the factory and, like, shut down the fucking Steel Watch, blah blah blah, without using the bomb. So I can use the bomb, you know, elsewhere. So, give me the bomb. Ha. I knew you were the Kerlak doesn't like it! 
That's why we get along. Kind of like I swear to God, if you just talk to me once in a while, you found out that I will lie to people to get my hands on a bomb. I mean, smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. It doesn't make any damn sense, but let's go! Look at Carlag, let's let's have a chat. We want the bomb to kill the Elder Brain, because 50 wizards high on the weave not being able to accomplish this much power sounds like something that can blow up an Elder Brain, okay? We blow up the Elder Brain. Everybody's safe. We can also stop the Steel Watchers as an incidental thing that we don't even need to use the bomb for. Blowing up a factory does not take more than that. Marcus is probably fucking pissed off, but I don't really care. Why would you do this? What would the exploding and all? I would do this for the bomb and access to it, because I think that's hilarious. God, we've got so many quests. Yeah, see, we there's there's two ways of doing this. We could use the room powder bomb, or alternatively, just sneak into the Steel Watch Foundry and destroy it. We don't need to use the bomb in order to accomplish the task. The bomb's an easy way to accomplish the task, but it isn't necessary. But because I feel like getting into Baldur's Gate's gonna be a trial and a half and potentially something that's gonna take... I wouldn't say time and effort, but... Something close to it, anyway. Bug free game, you guys. Bug free. Looks like I could get into Baldur's Gate this way. To be fair, I probably could. Yeah, I'm gonna get all the quests first. I'm gonna get all the quests out of Rivington first. It looks like in order to do the next part of the murder mystery, I have to do, uh... I was gonna take all the books out of my inventory. I don't need.
I'm gonna keep that one. That's all nice and cleared out. Send it by. Can't fucking see. This way. Right. <coughs> Failed the previous one. Arlac. Arlac failed the perception check. Still alive, so that's progress. Maybe I need more pockets. Group together. Perspective. Dirty toilet seat. You sit on it, you get all of the diseases, I bet. Because I think that would be funny. Hello? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a circus advertisement. I should speak up. A tonsure. This, this is this is what the hairstyle was created for. Wait a, Wait a second. Eight. What? How are you a tonsure? But the views are worth it. Tonsures are... Bald, bald guy, you sit on the toilet. Roll a constitution save. Let's have a look. What the dead chicken? The steam tone records a long and arduous journey. I hoofed it to Baldur's Gate based on a god's damn promise. They'll welcome me with open arms, my cousin said. Everyone has a home in the gate. Seventeen days I marched. Seventeen days of their whining toddlers and their piss reeks. Seventeen days of howling wolves huddling around sickly fires and still that stench. Of course, we didn't let us through to the city when we showed up. Shoved us into a camp teeming with snivelers and sneers. Had it with them. Their sob stories the entire gall of their presence. If I've got to be stuck outside the city, I'll make a home in a chicken coop. Smells better than those shit stained whoops call they call my cousins, at least. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Act 3. I decided I'm going to do everything I can in Rivington before... ...trying to get into Baldur's Gate just in case getting back out of Baldur's Gate is going to be a pain in my ass. But I have found a way to get into Baldur's Gate without going through the main area, so that'll probably be helpful. Mind up, I know I do. 
not with all the refugees. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. Oh, we may not want to go here. Are we good to go? We're probably fine. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. As long as we stand together. Yeah, we're probably fine. We're probably fine. We're probably fine. Let's wander right into the Gur camp knowing that the only thing that they have their mind on is killing Asterion. It, it'll go well, I'm sure. Oh, there's the leader. Should we fortify the camp? Wait for the vampires to strike here? And let them marshal all their strength against them. Oh yeah, let me try let me check something here. Keep a blade close. I found some interesting clothes. For Asterion, and I'd never tried them on. Okay, that looks so frumpy. That looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. Okay, that looks ridiculous. Yeah, I like that one. I don't think, like, I think anybody would really look good in either of these. At all. Like, at all. All right, time to fight an entire fucking crowd of people. Sounds good. Sounds great. Let's fucking go. Why, hello there. Richtei hathran rust. Frey valdisk durovna. Frey valdisk ablast. He clearly walked into some kind of ceremony, but it's nothing that you recognize. You do recognize the language, however. These people are Gur, a tribe of monster hunters, just like the one you met in the Hag Swamp. Im orak, nete, krasin, netra. The Syrians like, why are we here? Oh my God! The impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. Why are you working for this? What do you want? <laughs> if you want to throw up on that pirate- Oh, I can trade. Like, give me your shit. You don't even have any shit for me to take! E Fill in the blank. If you want to throw up on that pirate, fully support it. So fucking funny. What do you want with the Sterian? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. <laughs> it's a story, honestly. It was more dumb luck than any skill on his part. Yes, he's free now. Not while his master still lives. But he has perhaps earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Casador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, 
They're already dead. How can you be sure? I spent two hundred years bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. I'm not sure which way I want to go with this. We're gonna do it anyways. We're we're here to kill Kazador because killing Kazador just makes me happy. But I kind of want to tell him that that let's let's fucking do it for them too, mostly so we can walk out of this camp safe and sound. To be honest, I think he'd be up to it anyway. And he does tend to like the drama. I suppose. Yeah. Yes. Revenge I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. Don't like you debt. I like have payment. Lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. <laughs> Carla got inspired by that. All right. <laughs> It is good to have you with us. There is something rotten at the heart of this city. And it needs purging. He points directly at, at Asterion, who's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Do not stand here and wait. Kazador must be destroyed. Oh, okay. So I guess we're not allowed to talk to people. But I want to look around. Well, fuck. If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was odd, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Take the wood from the cart, too. That'll be good for a fire, if nothing else. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Tina, two thumbs. I found these apples first. What's inside? Another fucking dead chicken over here. They wasn't thinking. Starving folk tend not to. They just lined up and and taking their fair shares. We've had plenty for everyone. Might be useful. If. Oh, there's dead chickens fucking everywhere! 
I found one dead chicken earlier. Now we got lots of dead chickens. Some of them's got eggs in them. can't stand her! My sister-in-law. All law and no sister. Christine didn't clean the cookware, Mother Mona. Actually got here safely. Towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? God, camping with the mother-in-law has been utter hell. Maybe I should just go on ahead into the city without her. Scouting, like. You're no sauce. This is the mother-in-law, I bet. My son Garen is pleased we got this far together. But his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. Why can't he tell her to put a sock in it? <laughs> There's just a random naked dude here. Washing my pits. Never mind, he's taking a bath. This is the song went up. Hey! Got a blood knock any bleeding. Every time I see my character. My bad. Sorry. Zoru. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. Oh, grow up. Oh, you got stuff to trade? No, you don't. At least you made it. How are you holding up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. Well, I mean, you don't know what he's been through, but at the same time, I understand why you're mad. Hey, bitch. What a sad situation. The once proud tieflings of Elturel. Reduced to beggars. Not Nick sitting here planning out murders like a freaking psycho in my head. God damn. Like, oh, you know what? That person's really alone. I'm like, you're never gonna make it to act three on your freaking character. None of I have anything to say about it. Who the fuck? Gaunch? Have I spoken to this guy before? I don't think so. Hello? Ah, whatever you need. I can't help you. Even it's such a high-pitched voice for a half-orc. What do you got for trade? Got a book. I do not know if I have this book. God damn it. You're gonna make me buy this book and it's gonna be a goddamn copy of a book I've already read.
Let me take a look at that wound. Come on! I really do not want to have to use my Dark One's own luck to actually make this- It's a pen for fuck's sake! After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary! I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. This is barely a scratch. What's the idea? Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. don't know how we're gonna get Grunch into the city, wounded as he is, but we have to. We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we <coughs> hit a big barrel and nailed it shut? No. Nah. These kids following my freaking intellect devour around going, Here, kitty! Come here, kitty! I've already, I've already read this one. I guess not, but... I guess there's also nothing new under the sun. 83 versus... 86. Wait, what? Dude, that one's 86! Yeah, this one's bugged. That's no fair. A pain in the ass. When I picked it up, it said 83. Oh, to be fair, for a miserable collection of shabby hovels jam-packed with wretched refugees, this place isn't bad at all. <laughs> Glad to see you. Glad to see anybody, really. It was a lonely road getting here through those abandoned farmlands, and I'm a sociable sort. Spoke to them already. I'm busy. Mind your own. <laughs> Not me having a distrust of all old women because, you know. Maybe she's a hag. <laughs> Not me continuing to distrust her and being like, I'm gonna just take a fucking look at my traveler's chest here. Where's my books? There they are.
At least I know that it's a note. A letter of some sort. Do a perfume. So, the leader of her coven is, starts with an M, so it's probably not the chick I was just looking at, but I'm still very, very concerned. Anyways! Though, her last name does start with an M. Don't trust. Don't trust. Oh, hey, it's Manip! I rescued your ass! Donations. Donations for what? Do you not have ice? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. I really feel like donating him any gold is a complete waste of my time, considering what I know of the Burning Fist. I'd like to take the donation into the barn myself! I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm starting to associate a little bit. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's probably gonna be a 20. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? A 40 fucking one! Well, if you must. I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're gonna do it, hurry up. <laughs> oh, it's more. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. To keep the hat the same size? God damn it. That's close enough. <laughs> I 
I can't fucking see! Oh, hey. I'd love to, thanks. Talk to the pig! Hey, yeah. I say, terribly decent of you to come. Yes, the piggy! Pleasant truth. You're one of the most impressive pigs I've ever seen. Oh, how kind of you to say. <laughs> I have been growing my bristles out. It's something of an art, you see. He's such a dignified piggy. Can, I, can we ask about? Salutations once more, old stick. Always a treat to have visitors. Oh! I have one chance to ask him if there's anything interesting happening. Fuck! Why do they do that? I mean, compliment a person and then fucking talk to them. Is that blood? No, never mind. An excerpt from a short but terribly outdated tales for children told by Mother Campestri. The Hungry Bullywug. There once lived a bullywug whose name was Billy. His clothes were ragged. He never watched. He spoke in tongues that never could understand. But the worst thing about Billy is he was always hungry. He ate all the food in the village and moved on to villages nearby. Soon the region was starving because Billy could never have enough. Villagers offered to teach Billy how to farm so he could make his own way, but Billy was lazy. Billy only wanted to live off the kindness of others, so that's what he did. And one day, the villagers decided they had enough. They'd been forced to live off their supplies for months, and they were sick of it. And Billy, having gotten fat from eating all their food, started to look rather appetizing himself Ugh. an investigation check what's next To give it a wide berth. Don't touch me. Let's keep to the shadows. Who's that rummaging around in there? Show yourself! You have two seconds to explain yourself before you're under arrest. I literally came in here to donate stuff! I found a load of toy bears rigged to explode, but don't worry, I disarmed them. Oh. Those are children's toys. Which means if a child had picked one up... I don't want to think about it. How do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? Why would I disarm my own explosives? I just want to find whoever's responsible. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Alright. I guess it can't hurt. I'll check up on the rest of the goods. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. This assignment was going to be dull. No such luck. Person even a real person? Can't interact with him. He's got a name, but I can't interact. See. Come on, everyone. Oh, Asterian wants to talk? Asterian? What you doing, Asterian? Is Asterian in a dialogue? 
This is quite clearly a restricted area, citizen. You can mull over your mistake in a cell. Come with me. Doesn't make any damn sense. Considering I was let go. What's your fucking issue? Seems we were patrolling around a powder keg. Glad I didn't get burned up. Dumbass. Explosives in, in toys. How despicable. Hope Lord Gortash gets this stuff sorted out. to press ahead. God, I hate when this happens. <laughs> Are for Gregorio? Unusually weighty. Oh, look, this all adds up to fucking bullshit. Who's a good dog? You're a good dog! Oh, goodness, yes! I am a good dog! Fantastic stuff! Oh, yes, you're lovely. You can come back. <laughs> Have you found some place we can wash our clothes yet? What will we wear while we're washing them? We only got away with what we have on. These clothes make me itch. That's a bigger issue than modest. I apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog. What was that, my dear? Nothing, darling. What? No, I'm afraid I must insist you do not pet the hound. Hound? My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles, poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Well, either way, he's a fine looking hound. Isn't he just? I'm so very glad they let animals in the camp. Means Biscotti can be kept away from that awful war. Oh, yes. As long as the dog is okay, he's happy. Give me strength. This is a prime example of are the straights okay? Interesting times. With farmers, Chris. What are we gonna do in the city? It looks like I've been everywhere except for over here. Oh no, I guess I could have gone past the Gur camp. I tried to go in and it didn't work, but there is something up here. But either way, it looks like I need to go check out that dude's basement because he's the one who had the fucking... Are y'all following? Where am I? I guess I'm pretty close to the Gur camp. Let's, let's go look up there and see the rest of the...
Might find the person who uh, was killing all the damn chickens. Awesome. And cool. Over here. Catch a break. Child's drawing. More for me. Already have this one. Great. Joy, we're just gonna sell it again. Crowd's drawing. Really? Huh. No, I have a copy of that already. I can go to camp. Okay, so this is the very last location. This whole Rivendare area. So let's, because I want to go back to the mansion. So let's go to Rivington. Teleport over here. Such sweetness should be shared. Okay, random. All right, let's go. Interesting. Never mind all the blood everywhere. These things happen every day. Heartless scum. I'm a reasonable woman. We could easily work something out in a house this big. Thank the gods. I was sure we were about Moving to be ahead. evicted. I don't think we could cope with being homeless again. Decent folk about. You gotta love people who just like move into a person's house. I mean, it was empty. You know, at the time. else in here? And here I thought this was gonna be the way down. Gotta find the fucking basement. She'll be all right. She's a brave girl. We get through this. She's not brave, then. She's just learned to stay silent to avoid causing trouble. That might be worth a look. Someone there. Let's prowl. Peace. What peace? Haven't you heard there's an army marching towards the city? Sneak, sneak, sneak! Yoink! Huh. 
Ah, I can go to Carlac. I can also go to come back. Just like old times. Nothing even in there. Well, that was all very interesting. What the fuck? A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Where are your gloves? Where are your gloves? Last thing we want to do is crit fail. Consider it. There is work to do. I see, I see how this works. Okay. Uh, back to Asterion. Traps about. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Fucking ridiculous.
Gotta love all the whiffs he made. Be careful. There are traps about. Okay. Okay, so I know I can at least get that far. Who's got good perception? Because I've just failed like a half dozen saves. No time to waste. Uh. On I go. Awesome, love that for me. Of course. Excellent wisdom saves there. Good job. Fucking. God damn it. Okay. Uh. My eyes you. Wanna dance? Yeah. Awesome. This will be fun. Well, she found one. Awesome. Still failing. <sighs> My faith will guide me. I've got a long road ahead. My wisdom is 10. My wisdom is fucking 10. Can't afford to stay idle. What to do? Awesome. Be wary. This place is trapped. Great. Huh? Fucking shapeshifter. She'll try to break our best asset. Our trust. Fortunately, she's no match for our second best asset. Me. Let's have some fun. Well, let's see how bad this goes. Oh, you just gotta love that sound. You gotta love it. Oh yeah, I love this. I love it so much. Well, I've come this far. God, this sucks.
That's a few more. visitors. Be careful. There are traps about. God, there's so many traps. It looks just like the toys from the barn. Better watch my step. Are for package still waiting for you at Fella Gears? You better not be late again, or we'll start to wonder why, if you're really as committed as you claim to be. Pick it up, put it in the teddy bears, make the donation. Couldn't be simpler, really. If you're still here this time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you well know, we've plenty to spare. So, dear Arthur's been converting toys into deadly traps. Very naughty. This is where the toys from the barn were crafted. What a wicked little workshop. Guess for registry. Guess for refugees only, please distribute.
before I wander into a new area. Let's, uh... Okay. I bet you there's, like, an achievement or an inspiration for actually, uh... Let's give these to mouse. Is that blood? No, never mind. Nine fingers and her crew notice the guild. Some heavily named in the some entrance of Fister intrigued by effective very detailed. To go for a good meal. Once per short rest, that's not too bad at all. A okay, hit group. Have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Oh, not that button. This button. Find and confront the toy maker R for Gregorio.
<laughs> yeah, I've been small for a while now. Okay, that's a bit better. Call. I told him to go to an inn. may not be able to do it anymore. I told him to leave. <laughs> Proxy, did you see the thing we linked to you? Right, this whole fucking circus thing. What time is it? Wanna do this now? Actually, I need to get going, don't I? Yeah. Okay. We have Thanksgiving things to do, so I have to go and get ready for that. If you're like, wait a second, but Thanksgiving, isn't that something you do? In November, in Canada, we do it early because, uh, yeah, otherwise there'd be snow on the ground. It would be much of a harvest festival, would it? So, let's save the game. Circus. And we'll handle the circus next time. A quick refresh here. Let's see who's online. Right, oh, Destiny's online. Let's go get Destiny. Anyways, we'll be back later tonight. Probably playing some games and hanging out. <laughs> we will see you guys later. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully things go well. Probably will. It's probably just going to be me and my two aunts and uh, my cousin and little cousin. But we will see you guys later. Y'all take care of yourselves. And uh, yeah, you have a good night. Bye now.